Well, the all crucial a meeting between the two nations at the BRICS summit, which is currently underway in Xiamen and China, where India and China meeting is underway. You have Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, meeting uh, the Chinese Premier Xi Jinping. And uh, with the meeting with the Chinese Premier that has just begun, terror and trade would top the agenda. Now, this comes just a day after China slammed Pakistan and signed a joint BRICS declaration that declared Pakistani based outfits as terror organizations. But the big question remains, will China walk the talk and support India in fighting terrorism? And what is exactly going to be on the table when the two great nations meet, whether terror will top the agenda, whether economy, economics would also be uh, discussed, uh, business and trade as well between the two uh, nations. But uh, what is more important, especially after the Doklam standoff was uh, resolved, after after months of tension, would that also be discussed? All right, Shrinjoy, getting us some more updates on that front. Shrinjoy, what exactly do we expect from this meeting? Because there has been tension between the two neighbors for a very long time. And with this meeting underway between Prime Minister Modi and the Chinese Premier, what's on the table? Well, very clearly, uh, security, peace and tranquility on the line of actual control is an issue. Uh, yes, Doklam is over. Certainly, it's been 73 days. But Doklam per se is not everything as far as the entire line of control is concerned. There have been problems uh, in Ladakh. There have been problems in Arunachal. There have been problems in Barahuti. There is an Indian concern that after Modi comes back, there could well be another Chinese patrol which could just come into Ladakh, let's say, and just settle down. Uh, which is why India has been building roads uh, very, very quickly, as quickly as possible. In fact, the road to DBO has just been completed. That's really one point. There are other issues that India wants China's support on. One is India's membership to the NSG. Secondly, action against Maulana Masood Azhar by the Chinese. Uh, thirdly, uh, tra the trade balance, which is very, very one-sided currently. Uh, China has a very favorable position as far as the trade balance is concerned. Let uh, China open up its own markets to Indian pharma exports, Indian IT exports. These are all issues that have to be sorted out. Terrorism, of course, Maulana Masood Azhar being the primary case. Why is China sitting on it for all this while? The answer from China has to come on the 31st of October uh, to the UN Security Council or before. India hopes that China will come up with a positive reaction. We will have to see whether China actually does so or not. Because let's face it, uh, before uh, this, uh, this BRICS statement, there was a similar statement by the Chinese uh, yes. at the heart of India uh, conference in Amritsar uh, last year. And again, the Chinese said approximately the same thing. Right after that has been this business about Maulana Masood Azhar and protecting Maulana Masood Azhar. So India right, will have uh, to see what really 